In this tutorial, I want to show you how I go about, uh, I guess, dissecting a CSS layout that I like, that I found online, and try to figure out how the, des the other designer uh, did, did what they did. Um, anyway, before we get started, uh, the, the website in question, I'm looking at zengarden.com, and the theme I'm going to dissect over here is just the main theme that we see right here. It's pretty simple, but there are a few... Uh, things going on over here that make it look the way it does. So you'll notice that to the right I have a graphic that now this graphic I actually made myself and this graphic shows how the uh, ID selectors, so these are just individual divs that the author created and uh, this shows me exactly how things are sit in uh, in the page right so you see over here that I have I have you may not see it but when you look close the first thing I have right here it says container now container is going to refer to this entire uh, page because the author put everything inside of the container except of course these extra div things down at the bottom he put extra div 1 and extra div 2 and 3 all the way through 6 down at the bottom um, completely out of the container um, so that they could be positioned anywhere on the page. Um, anyway, kind of moving ahead, uh, I, f I put this together simply by looking at the code for the page and as I went down the code, I see how divs were opened and closed, right? Um, so here's the head part, and then kind of as I went down, I see body. I know I'm familiar with that tag. And then I see div ID equals container. So that means that the container starts here. Then, you know, it doesn't get closed. Then intro starts. So here's intro. So intro is another div. And then inside of intro, there's page header and when I go down I see that page header is actually closed right over here so that means that when I when I actually made this graphic over here I was able to uh, make page header its own little box and uh, it means that it's it's closed inside of of um, the layout so that's kind of the idea so that means that that there's one big main container that most of the content lives in then inside of there are three other containers we have intro supporting text and link list and inside of those are even smaller divs um, page header quick summary preamble blah 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 uh, and now the reason I do this is because when I start looking at the properties in the uh, style sheet I could kind of I quickly see where it's getting laid out. So I mean, if the author's saying like quick summary is going to get floated to the left, then I know that quick, this box is going to be floated to the left, and preamble is going to go up top over here. And you know, because because uh, once you float it to the left, it kind of takes it kind of out of the normal flow and allows other things to flow around it. And uh, anyway, I'm just beginning now. Basically, what I did is I'm starting to, f to have an idea of how to structure the page. Uh, is laid out so I could start determining how the properties put in for all these different containers um, how they how, how like the properties are, are manipulating it and affecting it uh, within the context of the normal flow of the document so the next thing I'm going to I'm going to want to do now is start editing the style sheet and since I'm just focusing on layout I'm going to pick out all of the ID selectors